So you're thinking about moving to the city of Fairfax, but you're thinking to yourself, you know, I'd kind of like to know the pros and the cons about the city of Fairfax before I decide to make that big move. Well, in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to be covering. We're talking about the good and the bad of living in the city of Fairfax. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is about eating, sleeping, working, playing, and living in Northern Virginia, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell for notifications so that you'll be the first to know when a video is uploaded each and every week. My name is Amanda and the team and I get calls every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Northern Virginia and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, shoot us a DM, whatever works for you, we've got your back when you're making that move to Northern Virginia. So as I mentioned today, we are covering the pros and the cons of living in the city of Fairfax. And we are going to be starting out with the cons. If you've watched any of our other videos, you know the first con, cost of living. That is just a trend in the Northern Virginia area and the city of Fairfax is no exception. Living in the city of Fairfax is gonna run you about 49% higher than the national average overall. And housing is what really comes in substantially higher than the national average. Housing in the city of Fairfax is going to run you about 124% more than the national average. Same for renting, 104% higher than the national average. And groceries and transportation, well, they're also gonna cost you a little bit more as well. Groceries run about 15% higher in the city of Fairfax and transportation costs are 27% higher than the national average in the city of Fairfax. Con number two is there is no metro station in the city of Fairfax. And depending on what you're looking for, that may or may not be important to you. But if you are looking for a city that has a metro station, well, the city of Fairfax should probably be marked off your list. However, there are two stations that are nearby, and by nearby, I mean anywhere from three to eight miles, depending on where in the city of Fairfax you are coming from. The closest metro station is going to be Vienna Metro Station, and then the next closest is gonna be Dunloring. So you certainly have access to metro stations, but they're just not gonna be located in the city of Fairfax. Con number three is traffic. And we wouldn't be talking about a Northern Virginia city if we weren't talking traffic. It's just part of life in Northern Virginia and the city of Fairfax is no exception. If you are traveling on 236 or 123, especially during rush hour, be prepared to add some extra time to your commute because you are definitely going to be sitting in traffic. The other thing about the city of Fairfax that is somewhat unique and also interesting, there's no straight shot from one end of the city to the other. Now, it is a small city, only a little over six square miles, so we're not talking about a huge radius, but you're not gonna be just driving along going from one end to the other. That's not how it's set up. So that also plays into traffic because you're not only dealing with making some extra turns to cut through the city if you maybe wanna head on further out to say, you know, Fair Oaks area or even further out if you're headed to Chantilly Centerville, you're also gonna be dealing with lights and the turns. So that tends to back things up. In particular, 123 and 236 are the ones that get the most congested, but certainly University Drive does as well along with North Street. It's just a way of life in Northern Virginia. This is not unique to the city of Fairfax, but I think it's always worth mentioning the different traffic patterns because it is something that you need to account for when you're moving to Northern Virginia. Con number four is if you are living in the city of Fairfax, you are unlikely to be able to walk to work. The biggest employer in the city of Fairfax is the city of Fairfax. So if you want a place to live where you can also walk to your place of employment, well, the city of Fairfax is probably unlikely to fit that bill. 
Now, if you're commuting from the city of Fairfax, you have plenty of options as far as public transportation goes, close to commuter routes, and we'll get into that on the pros. This is just for if you are looking for a place to live, play, and work, and be able to walk to all of those things, well, the city of Fairfax probably isn't gonna be the best option. So let's get into the things that make living in the city of Fairfax so popular. We're starting off with pro number one, which is its location. The city of Fairfax is extremely centrally located. You are close to Washington, D.C., about 20 miles into the city. You are also close to Tyson's Corner, about 10 miles from there, depending on, of course, where you live in the city of Fairfax. You are also within close proximity to Metro, and you're close to two different airports, Reagan Airport and Dulles Airport. You can't get a better location in terms of having a nice balance of being so close to the major employment areas in the DMV while also having a great quality of life within the city of Fairfax. Pro number two about life in the city of Fairfax is walkability. The city of Fairfax is an extremely walkable city and if you live in the city of Fairfax proper, you are in an area that is a little over six square miles. So keep that in mind when you're looking around, if it's an area that you're interested in, and you will know you can definitely walk to shopping, to dining, you can do your grocery shopping. You certainly, if you live in the city of Fairfax, have walkable access to daily needs and entertainment. That's one of the great things about the city of Fairfax. It's a small centralized area, which makes it very walkable. And that leads us to pro number three, which is community events. The city of Fairfax is absolutely phenomenal when it comes to a sense of community. And I don't want you to think it's similar to Arlington. Arlington is much busier. Same with Falls Church, it's much busier and congested. Not that the city of Fairfax isn't densely populated, it is, but it's a more laid back vibe there. And they have so many community events they have the Chocolate, Chocolate Lovers Festival, the Jazz Festival, Festival of Lights, Rock the Block, Beers and the Burbs, the list goes on and on. And it's just a great place if you are looking to establish a real sense of community. There's not a time that I'm not strolling around downtown the city of Fairfax and someone doesn't say hello, you strike up a conversation. It's just a much more laid back vibe, I think because it's further outside of DC than say Arlington and Falls Church. So if that's something that interests you, definitely mark that down on your list because it's a huge pro about living in the city of Fairfax. Pro number four of the city of Fairfax, recreational space. And I know you might be thinking, well, wait a minute. You said that the city of Fairfax is only about six-ish square miles. How much recreational space could there possibly be? Well, there's 258 acres and that's comprised of 25 different parks. So the city of Fairfax has done a phenomenal job of preserving outdoor space, whether you're looking to go for a stroll, there's 28 miles of walking trails, or if the kiddos are in sports, there are athletic fields, you can rent pavilions to enjoy a picnic. And of course there are sports courts as well. You've got tennis, basketball, and volleyball courts. So no shortage of recreational space in the city of Fairfax. Pro number five is the arts and the culture. The city of Fairfax is home to the Fairfax Art League Gallery and they display local artists work at all times. And then you also have the Fairfax Symphony Orchestra, which is a professional regional orchestra. Just down the street, you will find George Mason University, which consistently has cultural and musical performances in their concert hall, in addition to Eagle Bank Arena, which can seat up to 10,000 people. So that wraps up our pros and our cons of living in the city of Fairfax. The city of Fairfax is home to a little over 24,000 people. So if you're looking for an area that still has walkability, but isn't as busy as say Arlington or Falls Church, it's definitely worth digging into more. If you have any questions about the area, drop me a comment below. And as always, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and we'll be happy to help you make that smooth move to Northern Virginia. Until next time, we hope to show you around town.